Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it will ensure you won't miss any future videos. Today I'm going to show you how I finish one of my largemouth bass replicas. This is my wife's personal vest. I'm coming out of retirement to do it. Um, it's 10 pounds, 11 ounces. This is a very nice blank by Kenny Bauman. Well, this is an open mouth closed gill. I could open up the gills, but I like the way it looks right now, so we're going to leave it as is. Um, that's the way it looks before, and this is the mouth plug that will get inserted in there. It'll get glued and epoxied around and uh, look real nice when it's done. We start by removing the excess flashing and trim around all the fins. I use these two Dremel bits for most of what we're doing here today. So my first attempt at time-lapse video photography didn't come out. So I'm going to get us caught up here with what I have done so far. I took my Dremel tool, I Dremeled out the eye, make room for the glass eye. I cleaned up inside the mouth to make room for the mouth plug. I went around the perimeter of the fish, did all my seam work. And then with this Dremel tool, I went around the trailing edge of all the fins to give it a nice natural look. I also did the same with all the paired fins. So they are all ready to attach. Next I'm going to install the mouth plug. We do that by simply positioning this in place and going around the edge with some super glue to hold it in place. Now we have the mouth plug all glued in place. Now we're going to mix up some epoxy sculpt.
there's the mouth insert all installed, all the epoxy work done around it. Now I'm going to mix up some urethane foam. I'm going to pour this around the mouth plug to stiffen it up and it also gives me some backing to set my glass eye. Pour this in the eye and in and around the mouth plug. I have a piece of duct tape here that'll keep it from being coming a big mess. Then we rotate it around while we wait for the foam to expand. As it expands, we form the shape of the interior of the mouth. Now the foam is set up. The interior of the mouth has a nice shape to it. Take our duct tape off here. And that foam will help in setting the glass eye. I fastened my fish to a mounting bracket so now I can put it in my mounting stand. Be just a little easier to work with for now. Now I'm going to dremel out some of this foam and test fit the eye. That'll work. Now I mix up some two-part epoxy sculpt again. And we get ready to set our eye. I'm going to push it in so it's looking slightly forward, tilted slightly down. Now I'm going to reconstruct the scleral band with a modeling tool and the excess epoxy sculpt. Smooth it out with my wet finger as we go. Now we clean it up with a brush. Smooth it out. And just like that we're done. I have just a little more epoxy left over, so I'll start my seam work. And we just lay it down there and blend it in with a modeling tool or your finger. Just smooth it out. Now you just work it into a nice fine edge. If 
you start with a quality blank like this one is, it really doesn't take that much epoxy. That looks pretty good. Now for the top of the head, I just take a rag, paper towel, something like that, and give it a little texture. And for the rest, I have a little a collection of silicone molds I've made over the years that I just press make an impression just like that it looks like scales once that's painted up you never see it now I get ready to test fit the paired fins okay. I'll mix up some five minute epoxy and get ready to set the paired fins. Now onto the pectoral fin. Next I blend the fins to the body with epoxy. And my handy scale mold. And we work on the pelvic fins. Get a nice smooth transition into the body. Use your fingers, modeling tool, whatever works the best for you. Got some little scale detail in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we have a little epoxy left over. We'll start our seam. Blend it in nice so you have a nice feather edge. It'll look very convincing when it's done. Now we just go around the fish and finish up the seam work. And that's pretty much all ready to go. We'll let this epoxy set up. Come back in the morning and put a coat of primer on it and it'll be all ready for paint. Now I'm going to take my heat gun, heat up these fins a little bit, give them a little action.
Now I spray the whole fish with white primer. So here's our finished fish. All primed, ready for paint. If I see interest in this video, if I see some likes and some new subscribers, my next video will be on me painting this fish. Thanks for watching.